Hello everybody! Today I am here with my friend Claire Thomas from the Kitchy Kitchen. She is an amazing cook, one of the best that I know, and I've actually talked about her in my videos before, but you guys have never seen her in person, so here she is. These are all healthy recipes that you can make like if you're in a hurry before school mm -hmm. or work. We have some smoothies and then some actual food for you guys, and it's going to be tons of fun. Oh yes, I'm so excited. These are all super quick, really easy, perfect weekday recipes. Yeah, so let's do this. First one up is an oatmeal cookie smoothie. Yay! Basically what we have here is one frozen banana, a cup and a half of almond milk, this is vanilla almond milk, one teaspoon of chia seeds, and then two tablespoons of agave nectar, big fat pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, and then we have uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, and obviously the oatmeal. Yeah, duh. Duh, I mean, it has to be <laughs> And cinnamon. And then a big fat pinch of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Oh, yeah. So first things first, chop up the frozen banana, please. I am trusted with the sharp <laughs> object here today. <laughs> You'll do a fabulous job. And the cool thing about a frozen banana is it adds, not only does it make the smoothie really cold, it actually makes it really rich and gives it a great creamy texture and flavor. Yep, I am a huge fan of using the frozen bananas in a smoothie. So I'm gonna get started by pouring in some almond milk. I love how that you're using vanilla too, because that oh, yeah. gives it that extra flavor. For sure, and we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract to it, because if you want it to taste like a cookie, you gotta treat it like a cookie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then will you pass me the chia seeds, please? Yes, here we go. All right, so these get popped into the liquid. And so those are just gonna kind of get nice and sort of jelly, and it just adds a little bit of thickness, which is fabulous. And then some agave nectar. I love it as an ingredient because it really does just kind of, it has a brown sugar flavor that is so good. And it's kind oh. of like rich and really intense, and it's very, very sweet. It's actually sweeter than sugar. I always feel like I learn something new from Claire. I'm just like, mental notes, mental like, notes. Okay, We're right. learning here together, guys. Yeah, but it's great for coffee, too, because it's yeah. already liquid. So totally. I always put it in my ice drinks during the summertime. That's such a great idea. Yeah. All right, do you want to do the big fat pinch of salt? Yes. I love salt in cookies. It just is the perfect note to go against all that sweetness. Perfect. And then I'm gonna put some of this cocoa powder in here, and this is really nice cocoa powder. And for me, I'm kind of, that's the one thing I'm sort of a snob about, a cocoa powder snob. <laughs> and then some of the flaxseed meal is gonna go in, and the cool thing about flaxseed is this is just gonna make it really filling. So this is something that is gonna be very much like a hearty smoothie, something that has like a lot of flavor, a lot of texture, and it's gonna keep you full all morning. And it's a good source of fiber too, right? Absolutely. So it's gonna, you know. It's gonna keep you nice and regular. Totally, help you out, help you out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will give you the honors of the cinnamon Yay. as it is your favorite. <laughs> All right, cinnamon in. Perfect, and then let's just do a little bit. No need to measure. I'm gonna just eyeball it for the vanilla extract. Boop. All right, and so that's it. Time to pour this bad boy out. I can already smell it. Oh, I know. It's like so chocolatey and just lovely. This looks like really thick, delicious chocolate milk. It kind of <laughs> is, but good for you yeah. chocolate milk. That's what's kind of fun about it. Yum. This is so <laughs> good. It's so good. All right, so we have our smoothies down, so yeah. now what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna move on and do a green smoothie. So this is one filled with kale, filled with other herbs and spices, really, really delicious. And this one's packed with a lot of like sort of antioxidants and really great flavors. So if you don't feel like having dessert for breakfast, this is sort of a really great option. It's actually my favorite breakfast smoothie. For the green monster smoothie, it looks like we have a wide variety of healthy ingredients oh, here. Oh yeah, the healthiest. Yes, so we have frozen banana again, mm -hmm. parsley, kale, apple, and coconut almond milk. And first things first, I'm actually going to just chop my apple in half. And the great thing about the apple is it actually adds a lot of really natural sweetness. So next we have the kale. And the thing about kale is you wanna get rid of this rib right here. It's very thick, dense, fibrous. It doesn't really blend you a lot. So what I do is I just actually push it down like this. Boom, done. So easy. So easy, oh my gosh. To chop up kale, I tend to just kind of bunch it up in a ball. Oh, I love balling things up. Oh, the <laughs> and then I just go across like this. And because it's gonna get blended, I don't need to be too fussy about it. If this was a salad, or for instance, the salad we're gonna be making in a little bit, 
I would go in and cut it really finely. And who knew kale that was usually used as like that random side garnish we would be eating? I know. <laughs> yeah, we were just joking how it's like every salad bar would have yeah. like kale around the edges, and now it's like everyone's eating it on their plate. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so pass me the parsley. Okay. And this might seem like kind of a weird choice, like parsley, it's usually so savory, but it adds a really great sort of peppery zip to the smoothie, which I really like. And then our frozen banana. Yay. And this is two bananas, so it's a, that's a lot of banana. And here's the thing, if you don't like banana, if you're watching this and are kind of bummed out, like, oh, banana and all the smoothies, all you have to do is actually take like an equal amount and do almond milk ice cubes. That is such a great, see? <laughs> Full of great ideas, guys. <laughs> and so because we're putting so much stuff in this, I'm using extra almond milk and I love coconut almond milk. It has such great flavor and it's kind of like a tropical smoothie in that way. Yeah, like. combined so, with the banana too. Ooh, yeah, so good. So basically this is it. Um, we're gonna blend it and similar to the last one, because the kale is quite fibrous, we're gonna blend, blend, blend until it's really smooth and really rich. <laughs> Very nice, extremely well blended. Yes. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of texture, but I don't want the cloggage. Yeah. No. <laughs> Straws in. All right. All right. Oh, this is your first time trying the coconut, so. Yep, I'm excited for fingers this. Fingers crossed. This is really, really good. What I like about this is the combination of the banana and the apple and the coconut almond milk make it so that it doesn't taste kind of bitter or intensely green. You can feel that there's something green mm -hmm. in here, but all of the flavors are really subtle. Mm -hmm. It's not like overpowering. It's not yep. super fruity. It's not super green tasting or anything. It's just really nice. And I feel like sometimes it's what you need in the morning yeah. is just something that is gonna wake you up gently <laughs> and it's not gonna be like, wake up. Totally. <laughs> time to start the day. All right, it is time for some food now. So what are we gonna be making? We are making my favorite kale salad and I'm not big on leafy green salads. So this is a really hearty, really filling salad and we're adding quinoa just to kind of bulk it out and add some protein. And this is one of those salads that can sit in your fridge for the whole week, which is what I love. Awesome. Also, if you wanna add meat to this, like shredded chicken, perfect. It's really easy to adapt this. So we have about two cups of finely chopped kale, followed by about four cups of cooked quinoa, third of a cup of golden raisins. We have a little bit of mint, like half a cup. We have a third of a cup of toasted pine nuts, half a cup of finely grated parm, half of a red onion that's been thinly sliced, salt and pepper to season, and then we have a really simple balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm just gonna pour our balsamic vinaigrette, which is just balsamic vinegar and olive oil, super simple, right on top. And you're gonna massage kale as if you were gonna give your mom a back massage. Yay! <laughs> it's the same skills. There we go, yeah, and just really get those strong fingers in there. And the idea here is, well, you know how we um, basically blended the kale until it was nothing in the smoothie? Yeah. So you actually wanna also basically treat the kale in the salad sort of a similar way. So by breaking it down with your fingers, it's gonna get more tender, it's actually gonna get sweeter as well. I can feel it already. Yeah, it's already kind of wilting and coming down, and this is a great way to integrate all of that fabulous flavor. And if you guys are in a restaurant and you wonder how they get their kale so tender, this is it right here. A hundred percent. So hands are clean. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually have you tear this mint up. And you can okay. just use your hands. And I love mint in salads. It has a really wonderful flavor. It's not just for garnish. And by tearing it up, you're letting all those oils come out and you're really just sort of releasing it and it's bruising the leaf as well. So really great flavor. And then I'm gonna add some toasted pine nuts while you keep doing that. Oh, I love the smell. It's so good. It's so good. It makes me think of mojitos. Oh, whenever a hundred percent. See, my version of that is a mint julep because I love bourbon. So oh, it's kind of a similar thing. That's oh, I love, I love that. So those were golden raisins, but you could do dried apricots. You could do dried cherries. Ooh, apricots. Yeah. Yum. Really yummy stuff. And then I'm gonna put some of these onions in here. Do I need to put in all of this? Yeah. In? Put it in a ball and you just twist it oh. like twice like that. And then boom, done. And now let's add the quinoa. And then I'm gonna have you start stirring it up. Okay. And so while you're doing that, I'm going to just sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and some pepper and really dig deep so all of that vinaigrette coats everything. 
I love how this is so much salad too. So this oh, yeah. is something that can last you all week. Obviously, we have to put yep. cheese on top. All right, so on goes the cheese. Well, that looks beautiful. So this is, that's it. Yeah. It's so simple to put together, really fabulous flavors, and I just absolutely love this. So I'm gonna get us some plates and forks to have a taste. Yay! I love how colorful this is. Too. I know, it's I was really just fun. going to say, really I feel fun. like, Visually, it's just a gorgeous salad, but I know it's gonna taste good. The raisins in here are making mm. me very excited. I'm trying to get the perfect bite here. A little bit of I know, everything. A little bit of everything on one bite. This is so good. Thank you. I love this. This may be <laughs> one of my favorite salads that I've ever had. Because normally, mm -hmm. for me, quinoa is like a hit or miss yeah. type thing and this is amazing, I love it. So we have <laughs> one more salad to show you guys. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna be? Ooh, it's a soba noodle salad with chicken, so really delicious. Yum, yeah. noodles, let's do it. So to make the salad, it's pretty basic. We have about a quarter cup plus of sesame oil. We have a quarter cup of orange juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of toasted sesame seeds, one garlic clove minced up, and then going into the soba noodle salad, we have one eighth of a cabbage that I'm gonna shred, one breast of chicken that's getting shredded up, um, about two tablespoons of green onion, half of a carrot that's getting matchsticked, and then two finely sliced up bell peppers. So to start, let's have you put together the dressing. Okie dokie. And you just pour everything in and then whisk it together. And I will let you determine how spicy we are gonna make this soba noodle salad. I don't know if I should be trusted with that. I have high hopes. <laughs> I, I have eaten out with you, so I, I think we have a similar tolerance. Yes, I feel like I'm not a good gauge for spiciness when people ask me, are things mm -hmm. spicy? Because I have a very, very high tolerance for spicy food. All right, and then while you're mixing that up, I'm gonna get started on the salad. I'm just gonna put all the vegetables in. That looks good. I know, this already looks really good. <laughs> this is so easy. I love stuff like this that oh. you just put together. Literally, you just whip it together. And so now to shred, I'm using a hand mandolin. You do not need to own one, but I love this thing. I use it all the time. It's really helpful if you're not really comfortable chopping or slicing things really finely, this kind of does it for you. And it's really safe as well, it has all the safeties, and I got this at my local grocery store. But if you don't have one, just use a large knife and just very thinly slice this sort of the same way I'm doing it. So all I'm gonna do is I take the top and I go across like this. Oh wow. Yeah, all we need next is our dressing. So let's pop that right on top. And then I'm just gonna stir this whole thing up I am now going to garnish it with just a little bit of cilantro, which I love. And this is just very roughly chopped. You don't have to be too specific with it. So yeah, just drizzle it right on top. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, well this looks delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. So let's get plated. All right, let's do it. It's time to get this in the belly. I am so excited. I know, I can't wait to dig in. I love when food looks beautiful before you even sort of take your first bite. <laughs> These reactions are real, guys. This, this is my actual reaction to the food. <laughs> it's amazing. That is gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and thank you so much, Claire, for sharing them because they were all amazing. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. I'm so glad you liked all the recipes. I know, they were awesome and I had so much fun being here. Claire and I don't get to see each other that often so this was kind of like our girls day and you guys were hanging out with <laughs> us. But if you guys make any of these recipes yourself, we wanna see your photos, so send them in to us. We're gonna have our Twitter, our Instagram, everything that you need here and down below in the information bar. So Claire also has some exciting news. I do, my very first cookbook is coming out. Ingrid wrote a blurb for it. <laughs> it's called The Kitschy Kitchen and it's available wherever books are sold. So look for it on August 26th. And it's gonna be awesome because I've read the book and it's filled with incredible recipes. Mm -hmm. And Claire is not only an amazing friend, but I keep saying she's an amazing cook, but she really is and the way to my heart is through my belly. <laughs>
And if you want even more ideas for smoothies, I actually have a new one up on Ingrid Dishes. It's a peaches and cream smoothie, which always makes me think of that song, peaches and cream. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you also subscribe to Claire's YouTube channel. That's gonna be down below for mm -hmm. you guys. But we're gonna get going, and my last two videos will be around here, so you guys can click <laughs> down below one of these boxes if you wanna go and watch them. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.